Hello students, welcome to Sorrow Sir's classes. The question is, the number of isosceles but not equilateral triangles with integer sides and no side exceeding 10 is? Well, since we need to calculate the number of isosceles triangles, let the sides be A, A and B. Now, for a triangle to exist, the sum of any two sides should be greater than the third side. So, 2A greater than B or A greater than B by 2. Now, if B is equal to 1, A can vary from 2 to 10. So, 9 triangles. If B is equal to 2 A can vary from 3 to 10 so we have 8 triangles if B is equal to 3 A can vary from 2 to 10 So further 9 triangles. Now if B is equal to 4, A can vary from 3 to 10. So 8 triangles. Now similarly, if we keep on calculating till B is equal to 10, we'll get more. For B is equal to 5, we'll get 8. For B is equal to 6, we'll get 7. For B is equal to 7, we'll get 7. For B is equal to 8, we'll get 6 triangles. For B is equal to 9, we'll get another 6 triangles. And for B is equal to 10, we'll get 5 triangles. So the total triangles come out to be 73. But among these 73, we have calculated 8 equilateral triangles. Thus, number of isosceles triangles are 73 minus 8 and that is 65. So the correct option is option A. The next question is, the number of trailing zeros in 100 factorial is? So the number of trailing zeros in 100 factorial can be calculated as 100 by 5 plus 100 by 25 and you'll get this to be 20 plus 4, that is 24. So the correct answer is option C. The next question is, the number of squares in the following figure is? So sizes of square 1 cross 1, we'll get them as 16. Since we have 16 of these cells of 1 cross 1, then again 2 cross 2, we'll get them to be 9. One such cell is this, one such square is this, two, three, four. So we get four in this manner. And the next four we'll get as this plus then this, then this and this one and one in the center so you'll get nine of these now squares of sizes three cross three will get this to be four now let me do this with another color so that you understand it this this one then again this one along with this this one
and then 4 into 4 size you will get it to be 1 since this whole thing is a square. So total 16 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 30. So the correct option is option D.